there'll be an extensive amount of work and it could require an extensive amount of time. Helping after Hurricane Ian, the road to recovery will take months, even years. More local people are making the long trip south tonight to help those in need after Hurricane Ian ripped its way across Florida. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti talked to those providing assistance as well as people now dealing with the damage. Valley native Lisa Wagger and her husband Michael captured these images Wednesday as Hurricane Ian was roaring through Punta Gorda, Florida. And that was that was the worst. Scary as it sounded yeah. like a freight train. It was terrible. That's yeah. That was the classic freight train um, run for cover kind of thing. But as the sun was shining on them now, crews from the Niles office of Serve Pro were getting ready to leave for the Fort Myers area to help with cleanup and restoration. It is a little early in terms of responding to the storm because you know water needs to dissipate and things need to become more clear as to who actually needs the help. This is the first wave of what the company calls large loss teams heading south and more will follow later. Standahar says their jobs won't be all that different from what they did earlier this month when heavy rains flooded parts of Boardman, only on a much larger scale. It's a lot of um, uh, extracting of water, it's a lot of drying equipment, um, it's a lot of sometimes uh, removing uh, contaminated or, or wet materials from buildings. As the local crews head to Florida, they may not know exactly what their job will entail until they arrive. Their eventual customers may not know what they need either. Homeowners that are wondering if they do have insurance coverage, if they do have the funds to rebuild, um, the heartbreak is the biggest thing our people face. The Walkers decided to shelter in place and are now able to see the damage left behind, but many others didn't. They left and they went to the other side of the state, um, but they're going to come back to their own destruction. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.